what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Suman and today's analysis video is going to be about one of the best deep line playmakers of the history of football, Andrea Pirlo. So Pirlo started his playing career in 1994 when he joined the youth sector of Russia. Pirlo was mostly used as a number 10 at Russia and after a few seasons with Russia, Pirlo was signed by Inter Milan. But Pirlo couldn't get a permanent place in the Inter starting 11 and he was sent back to Brescia on loan. This loan deal to Brescia was probably the most important stage of Pillow's playing career. When Pillo came back to Brescia on loan, the Brescia manager decided to use Pillow as a deep line playmaker instead of a number 10 due to his brilliant passing range. Pillow had the awareness and the passing range that would help him to build the play for his team from a deeper position. After his successful loan spell with Brescia, Inter Milan decided to sell Pirlo to AC Milan. At AC Milan, Carlo Ancelotti also decided to keep Pirlo at the same deep line playmaker position and this is where Pirlo finally displayed his true brilliance and became one of the best deep line playmakers in the world. Pirlo is a perfect example for all the young players who want to learn the basics. Pirlo was always well aware of his surroundings and he always knew what to do even before he received the ball. Constant scanning before receiving the ball. Having checked all his sides, Pirlo knew that he had the time and space to receive the ball. And now he's scanning the forward passing options. First scan to avoid pressure. Second scan to find the forward passing options. Watch the position of the ball and Pirlo is still not looking at the ball but he is checking his shoulder to see the position of the opener. When you scan the ground so many times before receiving the ball, you already know what to do when you receive the ball. First check, you can see the opponent moving up to press. Second check, opponent moves up, passing lane is available for Pillo to play the ball behind the opponent. With one simple pass, three Liverpool players are taken out and Gattuso now has the chance to start the attack for AC Milan. And it all started from Pillo's awareness who knew what to do even before he received the ball. One of the reasons why the Brescia manager decided to change Pirlo's position from number 10 to a deep line playmaker was his passing range. Pirlo did not have the pace, but he had the vision and the passing range to make the play for his team from the deeper areas. Pirlo had the ability to pull off every kind of pass, ranging from ping to chip to disguise passing to through balls. Pirlo's body orientation gives the impression that he is going to pass the ball to his fullback attacking the wing space, but he has other plans in his mind.
Wilno was a real free kick specialist and he often picked a spot where the goalkeeper least expected the ball to go. Wilno scored a total of 45 goals from set pieces. Even though Pillow was not physically gifted, but he was still extremely good at shielding the ball. He always placed his body in between the ball and the opponent, which helped him to keep the ball away from the opponent's reach. Since Pirlo started his career as an attacking midfielder, so defending without the ball was not one of his best qualities. Pirlo didn't have the pace, strength, or the aggressive nature to tackle the opponents without the ball. Pirlo mostly tried to cover his own defensive zone and never really made any aggressive tackles or left the position to cover for his teammates. And this is why Pirlo was often used in a two or three man midfield where he always had one more defensive minded midfielder who would do the defensive duties allowing Pirlo to focus on the offensive side of the game. At AC Milan, Pirlo had Gattuso. At Juventus, he had Vidal. And at the Italian national team, he had Di Rossi, who would do the defensive duties, giving Pirlo the license to move around to build the play for his team. Even though helping the team offensively was Pirlo's main job, but he still had the intelligence and reading of the play to make interceptions and well-timed tackles to stop the opposition attacks. Don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.